Hey guys, this is v 91 I'm talking about the Nintendo Switch. Because recently, Reggie, who was the former president of Nintendo America, he appeared on a New York Game Awards Twitch stream, and he was talking about both the Wii U and the Switch, right? Now, first and foremost, he was talking... I'm not going to quote all that stuff. You can watch, go back to Game Explains video if you want to see exactly what he said. But he was talking bad about the Wii U. Now, it's amazing how honest you could be, hey, after you actually leave the company. Like, during when, you, when you're at the company... Many times you have to use, I'm not saying they lie, but many times they have to use words like carefully because they're under like contracts and everything. So they probably can't just come out and say, yeah, this product was bad or something like that, right? Or this product was really unsuccessful, you know? But now I guess that it's years later and he's already left the company. He's kind of talking just like he basically more honest probably, right? Now, during this conversation, he also said, Along with so many of the other things I was part of, but the Switch really was a make or break product for the company, and luckily it was a hit. Now that's some new information. What does this mean? Well, perhaps it meant that if the Switch wasn't successful, now this is just my theory, not anything that Reggie said here, but perhaps that just meant that Nintendo was gonna go making software only, and maybe we would have seen Nintendo games on like Xbox and PlayStation, who knows? But the Switch was a hit, so Nintendo doesn't have to go whatever route they were going to go if the Switch failed. Hey, God's blessing that the Switch was a hit. So Nintendo still remains in the hardware market. Not sure if they were going to go away from it, but that's what it seems like when he says make or break for the company. So that would kind of explain why Nintendo put so much behind the Switch. Like when the Switch came out and they made sure tr they were trying to get all the third parties they could, even like FIFA, even though a worse version of FIFA came on the Switch, I believe, because it didn't have the single player. And they were really flooding it. Like, like at the Switch announcement, they announced Mario Odyssey. Mario Odyssey came out the first year the Switch came out. They really were packing it in, I think, the first few years. And it really seemed to be effective. All those games that they had bringing out to it and everything, and the concept itself just worked, I guess. And God's blessing, the Switch is now successful and Nintendo is still in the hardware business. But it is cool to hear Reggie Filsamay talk kind of more honest, I guess, because he's not with the company anymore. If you guys are interested in hearing what he actually said, just go watch Game Explain video. I'll have it in the link below. Anyway, what do you guys think about Reggie saying the Switch was a make or break for the company? And where do you think Nintendo would have gone had the Switch not been successful? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and God bless you all.